Hey guys, it's Jaffe. Uh, really quickly, uh, actually I have no clue if the sync is even working. I'm doing this from YouTube again because I don't have a lot of time, but I did want to post a quick video blog. Um, so, really quick, totally slammed with work today. I shouldn't even be doing this. I feel like, you know, my, my, my you know, work brain is saying, don't fucking do this. Get, you know, and, and I will. I gotta get back to work, but I had to post this because somebody tweeted me this and I've been seeing a bunch of shit the last couple of days, and it's not a bunch of shit. That's not true. That makes it bigger than it is. But just, you know, I'm, I'm so, uh, f I don't know what the word is, not finely tuned, because I haven't experienced a lot of racism in my life, or, you know, uh, I haven't been Jewish. I was raised Jewish, but I haven't been religious since I was seven, so I've never really experienced any, you know, anti-Semitism. So it's not like I have this as a, you know, chip on my shoulder. But I, growing up in the South, maybe where there, at the time at least, there was a lot of, you know, obvious kind of racism. I just, it just really doesn't sit well with me. And so I wanted to comment very briefly on two things, and I think it's minor. I don't think, I don't want to blow this into anything because it's not. But I mean, just, you know, to give you, you know, it certainly hits my brain. So what the fuck are you rambling about, Jeffy? I don't know, man. I'm tired, man. I'm fucking fried. The team is fried. Give me a break. Settle, motherfucker. All right, here's the deal. So two things have really struck me as kind of annoying. One is this. Uh, so we, we did this thing with uh, Hip Hop Gamer, which some of you guys know about. And he, he, he did a song which I really liked. I think the team in Utah really liked for uh, some of our closing credits in the movie. And you know, I, I've always thought, uh, you know, I'm going to call him Hip Hop. I know his name and stuff, and I'd rather call him that. But I mean, you know, because I don't really go around calling people hip hop and I wonder if I was friends with Jay-Z would I call him Jay-Z or would I call him by his actual name I don't know point is it's probably never going to happen I'm not going to be friends with Jay-Z I would but holy shit Jaffe calm the fuck down I understand okay but I'm I'm tired man I'm fried you know uh, point being he did this song we thought it was fun it was uh, it, it was a uh, uh, real passionate about the game. We love that he's a fan of the game. I've always loved what he's done. I've loved his energy and positive energy and enthusiasm for the industry and the medium. <clears throat> and just his own ambition for what he wants to do with his career. I think that's great. And I, you know, I fucking hate when people, you know, rail on this guy. You know, he's, he's a really good guy, you know, and he's passionate. And people in, who love games should be more thrilled or that, that, that there's a spokesperson out there that, that is that passionate. But anyway, the point being, is so we got some people saying, oh, you know, rap doesn't fit in Twisted Metal. Now, let's be really clear. Let's say three quick things on that. Number one is, that's fair. It's subjective. I think if it was a game like God of War, I wouldn't want to abdicate, and I don't think Scott would want to abdicate kind of authorship of the, the audio in the soundtrack to, to players, um, at least on first release, because, you know, it's it's more of an experience that we're trying to sell of a story and a world and all that. But with Twisted Metal, I mean, custom soundtracks exist in this new game because we, you know, look, you, you know, blow the world up, you know, to your own soundtrack is probably the right way to go. So if you like kind of a mix of metal and pop and rap like I do, great. If you're into Barry Manilow and Neil Diamond and you want to blow shit up doing that, that's fine too, you know? Uh... You know, so that's custom soundtracks we do have. Um, but the rap thing, it's like, and if you genuinely don't feel um, that rap fits in Twisted Metal, that's fair. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a total fair. I have no issues with that at all. You know, you make choices, and, and, and you know, and especially when you're doing a sequel, the last thing you want to do is kind of, um, you, you don't want to just kind of go, okay, what did they like before and give them that? You need to be in the same mindset. You know, as designers, we have to sort of be... Um, in the same mindset we were when we created what a lot of fans liked originally. And, and you hope they like the new stuff. And otherwise, you're just kind of regurgitating the past and people already have those games, you know. And so, um, but you know, if, if, if you don't feel the choices we've made to put a little bit of rap, I mean, look, dude, the, 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 the official soundtrack is made up of um, two rap songs, two of which, you know, one of which is a motherfucking classic, which is straight out of Compton. By NWA, so I'm, you know, if you don't like that and you don't think that, and the energy and the the uh, the power of that song and the aggressiveness and the fuck youness of that song fits with Twisted Metal, then you know, at least when it comes to sort of musical choices, we're probably on different pages, which is fine. And then we have a song called "The Chant" by Ghostface Killer, and I'm not going to say "Killer" because I'm fucking white and you know half Jewish, and for me to say "Ghostface Killer," I just can't do it. I mean, I can, it's like me saying Beyond on the IGN podcast. I just, I can't do it. Can't do it, people. Point being is they're really good. I think they're really good rap songs, and, and they fit the aggressiveness and energy of the game. And if you don't, that's totally fun. So back to this racism thing. People who have those opinions, that's great. Yeah, everybody has different opinions. But that and the Mr. Grimm trailer, we put it out, and, and I get that people are saying, oh, you know, there are people who genuinely are disappointed that it's not the guy, uh, you know, wearing his buddy's helmet. 
totally fair. Hopefully you'll still like this new Grimm and like his new story. But between but the people who have complained about the rap and complained about the fact that he's, and again, I don't know if it's African-American or black at this point. I, I have African-American friends. I should just ask them, hey, what, what is the proper term? Because I don't, I, I don't fucking know, you know, and, and it's never meant to offend if I use the wrong. I know African-American is not offensive, but it also seems like maybe it's too politically correct. I am in ramble mode. Can't help it. I'm tired. I've already said that 20 times, but I am. Um, point being is that I've seen this kind of racism about just that he's a black guy or just that we have rap. And it's like, here's, here's my vow to you. If you are genuinely a racist person and you don't like black people, which I think are African-American people, um, first I feel bad for you that it's 2000 and it'll be 2012 when this game comes out. And it's just like, dude, get yourself some fucking therapy because that's just, you know... Um, that's like old motherfucking school if you're still in that mindset. But let's, let's, that's fine. That's where you're at. If you buy Twisted Metal, and I got to do the math, I don't know. Let's assume, you know, we, we get into profit, and then Eat Sleep Play gets a cut, and then I get a cut of that. Any fucking dollar I make, let me know. And every copy that's sold, every person who writes me that says, yes, I'm a racist, but I bought your game, let me know because I want to donate that money to charity because there's no fucking way I want to make money. Personally, I can't speak for anybody else involved in this, but I do not want your fucking money. Um, I hope, you know, <laughs> I, I would rather you take that money, like I said, and spend it on a therapist because, uh, you know, how you're going to get through the rest of your life with that mindset and how limited you're going to be in your life with that mindset. I think the world would be a better place if you took that money uh, and, 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 and used it. You know, it's going to take more than the 60 bucks, you know. Uh, but used at least partially that money to get your head straight because you're fucked up. Um, and I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just, come on, really? Racism still? That's absurd to me. All right. Seven minutes in, I'm rambling, folks. I got to go. But I did want to say that, and now I'm back to work, and I hope you're all doing great. I hope you have a happy, happy holiday. Uh, happy Hanukkah, which started last night. Merry Christmas. It starts, goodness gracious, in three days. Um, yeah, I said, goodness gracious. I was at a dinner with uh, the producer of God Award the other night, and she's like, God, you sound like an old fucking woman. <laughs> Saying goodness gracious. What am I going to do? That's what I say now, you know? <sighs> All right, folks. Folks, folks, I'm getting old, people. Getting old. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.